had zeroed in on the Austin bomber earlier than first believed. Neighbors at the third explosion site on Galindo Street say police showed them pictures of the bombing suspect's car days before he was found. They told KXAN's Lauren Landman it shows how fast law enforcement was working to get to the bottom of the bombings. It's been a week since police opened up Galindo Street, returning it to the neighbors. They were hoping by now it would feel normal, but they say it's still anything but. My mom refuses to go near the mailbox. She's like, any mail? She's like, I'm not touching any boxes. The spray paint still fresh on the road is a reminder of that day neighbors cannot escape. But paint will fade. It's another addition neighbors are installing that's a bit more permanent. The peephole camera is like, we should even get something, even if it's small like that, you know, we should, we should have something, you know. Heidi De La Fuente says that's because they've seen firsthand how security cameras can help in an investigation like this. They had a good three or four pages of pictures and it was two, two pictures per page, you know, and it was back in front. So when we were looking through them, it was like, no, we, that SUV lives there, that truck is there, that truck is there, you know, we knew all the vehicles that were in the pictures, it was only that one. She was shown those pictures last Thursday, days before the bomber mailed two more packages through FedEx and well before his string of bombings came to an end. Once I saw his vehicle, I, I knew that I was like, it had to be the same car. I was like, it had to be his car. I was like, what are the, what are the odds, you know, that I saw a vehicle? They look literally exactly like his. And she says it's those pictures and how quickly law enforcement seem to be tracking the bomber that will make their neighborhood feel like home once again. Lauren Landman, KXAN News.